Hey, how's it going? This is Ra from Justin's Toys and today I'm going to show you how to make the XOXO bracelet. This was designed by me and it was inspired by a challenge that I gave Vala Crafts on Instagram who made a tic-tac-toe bracelet and I told her we should both try to make an XOXO bracelet and she made a version and this is the version that I made. Also want to mention that the stitches that are used in this bracelet are the global link stitch created by Suzanne HB as well as a cross stitch which was made by Joe Hunt. So I actually went through about four different versions on this bracelet before I perfected it and what I mean by perfected is that this bracelet naturally wants to have the XOXO side on the outside. So as you can see, it'll naturally curl so that this is facing out. I do want to mention that this is probably the most difficult fishtail bracelet to date. So you must be extremely advanced in order to complete this bracelet. To set up your loom for the XOXO bracelet, you're going to need two bar pins, a large base, and a small base. At this moment, you can pause the video and match this same exact layout. As you can see, the bar pins are not aligned. They're staggered, so you can take your hook and go diagonally through the bar pins. And for this tutorial, we will be using these four pegs right here. So, for this tutorial right here, we'll be making this bracelet. And the first thing you want to do is grab a center color band, which is black for me. And you're going to place it on top of these four pegs normally. Just like that. And now you want to rotate the corners. So, you can do that by going in with your hook gently removing it off the peg and bring it in front of the peg now and then rotate the other end of this band on top of the peg as you can see I'm rotating my hook and bring it down and let it go and that's going to create this little cross right here we're going to do that with all four sides so again remove it gently get in front of the peg rotate that other end up and over and let it go and on side number three, I always rotate in the same direction to make it neater. Bring this other end down and over. Let it go. And last, in front, rotate this end up and over. Okay, now we can push down. And at this point, you want to grab a bump color band. Okay? And the way that we're applying every single one of these bands going forward is going to be the same. We are going to apply it like this, straight across. Then we're going to use our hook and bring this end down to this peg and this end up to this peg, creating a cross here and a cross here. Okay? And what that's going to do is make this bracelet so that it's naturally flat. So. At this moment, we can bring up the bottom bands on all four pegs. So bring up the black, bring up the black. Easiest way to do that is to get into this groove right here. Bring up the black. And then the last side. I'm just gonna go in right here. Okay. So now we can push down and make space. And what we want to do is grab our first O color. My O's are silver. And we're going to take this silver band and place it on top of this peg capped. If you don't know how to cap, we take it, put it on top of the peg. Then we're going to twist it. And that's going to create this cross. And then using the corner of this peg, we're going to go inside this loop that we have created with that cross and place it over. And that's gonna make the perfect cat band that is not stretched out, okay? Now we're gonna grab a inner color band, which is black for me. And again, like I said before, place it diagonally across both ends that are furthest from each other, and then bring 
this end down and this end up. Okay? Now, we want to bring up the bottom bands on all four pegs, but we want to make sure on this peg right here, when we're bringing that bottom band up, if there's a cat band on top, you have to go inside that cat band. So, observe. We are going on the outside of this top band. On the inside of these two silver ends of this capped. Okay. And then over here we see that there's that clear band and we're just grabbing that single clear and bringing it up and over. And on the other three pegs we're just bringing up the clear normally. One, two, and last side right here. Three. Okay. Now we want to push down and again grab another inside color band which is black and place it diagonal and bring the end down and bring the end up. Okay. Now we want to bring up the bottom band on all four pegs. One. Since this bottom band is on top of the cap band, no need to worry about the cap band. Just grab that bottom band here, bring it up and over, up and over, and last, up and over. Okay? So, so far I brought up one solid color band, and there's one solid color band on the side. The next band we are grabbing is a bump color band. So I'm going to take that bump color band and just like how we apply the black bands diagonally across the two pegs furthest from each other and bring down and up the sides. And again, we're bringing up the bottom band on all four pegs. One, two, three, and four. All right, and now since there's a clear band on top, we can bring up this bottom cap band up and to the center. Okay, now push down. And now we are going to grab another bump color band, but we're going to cap it and place it on this peg. All right, so cap it. And that's going to create a clear link on the other side which will make that other side tighter. Let me show you real quick. So this band that we just placed right here is the equivalent of this white band that's on the inside, forcing this bracelet to come and turn into its more appealing side, okay? So once you do that, you wanna grab another center color band, which is black, and place it diagonally across. Bring this down and this up. And again, we're going to bring up the bottom band on all four pegs. But if that bottom single band is under a cap band, remember to get inside that cap band. So over here, there is a bottom clear band, but there's a cap band on top. So we have to go inside that cat band, grab that bottom single, and bring it up and over. Okay, now we could push down. Now we're going to apply our X color, which is pink. And it's actually two pinks that we're grabbing. Putting it across these two pegs, and push down. And then we want to grab another center color and bring it across both ends furthest. Again, bring this end down and this end up. And this part gets kind of tricky, all right? We want to bring up the bottom single band on all four pegs. But again, if there is a capped or an X band on top, you want to go in front of those bands and grab just that single band and bring it up and over around the peg. 
Over here, we just have a single band, so bring that up. Over here, there's an X band on top of that single black, so we have to go in front of these X bands. Grab that single black, bring it up and over. And over here, we're just going to bring this up normally. Okay. And now this is where it gets tricky. Now we want to take our hook and kind of fish this top black band. Okay, once you're in there, you're going to bring your hook down. Then we're going to turn it around and grab those two pinks. Okay, and kind of like a lever, pull out these pink bands so that it gets around the corner of this peg while that black band stays on the top. And then you're gonna move it and you're just gonna let it go right here. Just let it go, All right? Now we're gonna take our hand and grab the other end of the pink and just pull it slightly so that this pink drops to the center. And then you're gonna grab your hook and bring this black end on this peg up let me push down on this peg first. Bring this up and over to this peg. Okay. Let it go. And then you're going to let this pink go to the center so it's just hanging out. And then twist it back onto this peg. Alright. And create that cross right there. Alright. Then push down. And then we want to grab this black end again, black end that we placed over the peg, and bring it back on top of the peg, just like that. All right? I know it's really tricky, but honestly, once you get it, it's going to become a lot easier. All right? Once you do that, you want to push down and grab another center color band. Again, go diagonally across the pegs furthest from each other. Bring this down and bring this up. And again, bring the bottom band on all four pegs up. Two. Three. Over here, the cap band is under, so just get that single bottom. And four. So there's two on top, and then grab another center band, go across, bring this end down, bring this end up, one, two, three, four, okay? So Ever since I put these pink bands on, I brought up three bands in total. So at this point, since I brought up three, I'm gonna grab both of these pink ends and I'm gonna put it on top of this peg right here. So I'm bringing it up and over, pushing down. And next, I am going to grab a clear band. Again, Clear band goes on the two pegs furthest from each other. All right, bring this down, bring this up, and then again. Since there is a X band on top, we want to go in front of that and grab that bottom black band. It's kind of mixed up, so let me just try to reorganize it. So again, in front of the pinks, grab that bottom single, which is that black, bring it up and over. And this part gets a little tricky as well. Just like we did before and how we brought that pink in, we're going to do that same exact thing again. We're going to fish for that top clear band, just like this. Go down, turn our hook around. Grab those two pinks and lever them out 
around while we're keeping that clear band on the top. Okay, so we're carefully rotating this around this peg and then we're letting go. All right, so it brought it back down to the center. Or again, bring up the bottom band here, bottom band here, and bottom band here. And now we want to bring up this bottom cat band on this peg up and over. All right, now we're going to push down and then grab our O color and place it capped over here. So, believe it or not, that was a complete first sequence. And again, I'm just going to explain the whole sequence in detail one more time before I start moving a little bit faster. So, step one, place a capped O color band over here. Push down, then grab a center color band. Place it across, bring this end to the right, this end to the left. Again, bring up the bottom single bands on all four pegs. If there's a cat band on top, you have to go inside that cat band. All right, over here, get inside that cat band. Grab that single bottom, bring it up and over. Push down. Again, grab another center color band and do the same exact thing. Across, bring this to the right, bring this to the left. Bring up the bottom band on all four pegs. There's one, there's two, there's three. And since the cat band's on the bottom, we just want to grab that single band right there. And there's four. And now since there's two blacks or center color bands, one on here and one on the outside, we can grab a clear bump color band and bring it across. And bring this end to the right, this end to the left. And again, bring up the bottom single band on all four pegs, two, three, four. And now since there's a clear, we're gonna bring up this global link up into the center, push down. And now we're gonna grab a clear band and place it capped over here. Push down and grab a center color band and put it on top. One, two. And again, bring up the bottom single band. One, two, three. Bottom single over here, but there's a cat band on top, so we have to go in front of that cat band. Go in, get in front of the cap, grab that bottom single. And bring it up and over. Okay, push down. And now we want to grab two X color bands, which is pink. Place them across, just like that. Push down, grab another center color band, and place it straight across from this end to the right, this end to the left. And again, bring up the bottom single band on all four pegs. So one, bottom single, which means I have to get in front of these pinks and grab just the bottom single. Okay, bring that up and over. Bottom single, bottom single, but there's pinks on top, so get in front, grab that bottom single and bring it up, and over here again, fish that black, that single black, pull back, push down with your hook, turn it around, 
Make sure you're grabbing only those pinks. None of the clears under it. Lever it out. Gently. And just let it go. And take your finger and pull these two pink ends. Now we want to grab this black on the top and bring it to this peg. And you just push down. Grab this. Bring it up and over. And now we're going to rotate these two ends. Last time I rotated it like this. I'm going to rotate the other way now because I like it to zigzag back and forth in X's. And once I do that and there's a cross in the center, I can bring this top black band back over. Okay. Bring it back on top. Then I'm going to push down and grab another center color band to place on top. One, bring this end to the right, this end to the left. Bring up the bottom singles on all four pegs. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Push down, grab another center color band, and repeat the same exact step we just did. This end to the right, this end to the left. Bring up the bottom single on all four pegs. One, two, three, and four. And now we can take these pinks and bring them over to this peg. Okay, move them, bring them up and over. Maybe push down. And then at this point, we can grab a bump color, which is clear. Go across, bring this end to the right, bring this end to the left. And again, bring up the bottom single on all four pegs. One, two, three. Again, get in front of those bands, these pinks, and grab that bottom single, which is black, and bring it up and over. And now, like we did before, you want to fish this clear. Just fish it. Push down, rotate your hook, and grab both of those pinks, lever it out, make sure that clear remains on the top, bring it around, and let it go. Okay? And now we can bring up these bottom clears. All right? Push down, and as you can see, that was our first two sequences, so there should be an O, an X, an O, and an X. All right, so just follow the sequence right here. If it's really confusing, just go to the description and you'll see a link to a template that might help you out. Use that in conjunction to this tutorial and you should be fine. So again, sequence number three.
At this point, I'm just going to fade to the end. Hopefully that was enough sequences for you to understand the pattern. So, I'll be right back and over. Okay. And now we are going to grab our last O. Cap it on here. Push down. Grab a center color band. Place it across. Just like this. This side to the right, this side to the left. Bring up the bottom bands on all four pegs. Bottom single, bottom single, bottom single. And over here, get in front of that cap band. Grab that bottom single, bring it up. And let it go. Another center color band. Straight across, this side to the right, this side to the left. Bring up the bottom single on all the four pegs. Two, three, four. Push down and clear band across. This side to the right. This side to the left, bring this up, bottom single, bottom single, bottom single. And since there's a clear on top, we can bring this in. And this is going to be our last band. This time we don't have to do that diagonally across. We're just going to take this band and put it around all four pegs normally. And we're going to bring up that bottom single on all four pegs. Two, three, and four. And now we're going to narrow these four ends down to just one. And we're going to do that by grabbing this end, pulling it off, and rotating it. Do not fold it. Folding is like this, rotating is like this. So we're going to rotate it. Use the edge of this peg, bring this over. Over here, we're going to pull it off and rotate it. So swing it around, use the corner of that peg and bring this over. And this one we're actually going to fold. So I'm going to go in with my hook facing forward, pull this off and fold it down. Getting on that corner of that peg to bring this over. And at this point, you can grab a C-clip and grab all of these ends right here. So, I'm gonna go like halfway in, push down with the C-clip. All right, make sure I have all four ends. And it appears as though I do. And I can see that I do. So I can pull this off. And as you can see, those clear links that were on the other side are responsible for creating more tension on the interior of the band, forcing it to have the XOXO side displayed no matter what. All right, so I'm just gonna stretch this really hard just to make it naturally straighten out. And now I can clip the other end. I'm just gonna rotate this C clip because I like it to be clipped like this. And I wanna grab as many of these initial ends as possible. This first black band that we had, the easiest thing to do is go in with your hook, just like that. As you can see, I think I got all four ends, which I do. I'm just gonna use my loom again, place these ends back onto a peg. Like 
this, and then I'm gonna hook it back on. So, make sure that it's straight. Go in, grab those ends, pull it off, and there you go. That is the completed XOXO bracelet. The inside looks pretty cool too. But if you want, you can go in and you can manually try to clean up these O's to be as round as possible. Let's play around with it. But that is the completed bracelet. And this is Rob from Justin's Toys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you like this bracelet, make sure you like the video. And happy looming. Bye.